What is that hat for? Better, huh? Roger, better. Um, all right. So when I look at a problem like this, um, a couple things that we kind of notice or what we can do. Again, guys, our immediate thing is always to want to go U substitution, U substitution, U substitution, right? Mm -hmm. But remember, guys, if it's possible to simplify something, we can definitely do that. Think about it. I could rewrite this as 2 over e to the 3x plus e to the x over e to the 3x. dx, dx. Now, again, what happens when I have when I have exponents that I'm dividing. As long as the bases are the same, you're just subtracting the powers, right? So in reality, what I really have here is the integral of 2 times e to the negative 3x dx plus the integral of e to the negative 2x dx. Yes, no, maybe, so. So now I don't, have to do, I don't have to use u substitution initially. But now, if I'm going to integrate these, you do realize that I do need to go through u substitution. So here, I could say my u is equal to a negative 3x. du is going to equal a negative 3 dx. Um, over here, I have my u is equal to a negative 2x. du is going to be a negative 2, and then dx. Now, what I was trying to explain in that other problem, which I, which I kind of got, I know it kind of got a little confusing for some of you, is you know, if we have a 2 here, but we want it to be negative 3, well, what do I need to multiply then by to get this, uh, to get this back to be a negative 3? I could simply multiply it by my negative, uh, uh, I can multiply this by negative 2 thirds. And that would take me back to my 2 thirds, right? Wouldn't you guys agree if I multiply by negative 2 thirds on both sides? Or another way I like to look at it, we really don't need that 2 in front of there either, do we? No? So why don't we do this? Take the 2 out, and let's look at this as e to the negative 3x dx. Now, I have basically a 1 and a dx. So therefore, if I just want to get this to be 1, what do I got to do? I got to multiply by a negative 3, right? So therefore, you could say that is mm -hmm. So I already took out the 2. Now, when I do this again, when I integrate, I'm going to have 2 integral of uh, negative 1 third e to the u du which again, I can take out that negative 1 third one more time. And it would be the same thing if I would have done it the other way. So I'm just showing you another way to look at it. If you're getting confused, you can do the other way that we previously did, which is perfectly fine. Um, plus, this one is you're going to divide by negative 2 here. And therefore, you're going to have a, um, this one, we'd have a negative 1 half e to the u du. So we're going to take this out. So this is where I'm at right now, as far as my du's and then this 2. Now all I simply need to do is take out those values and then replace u with what I have in each case. So therefore, my final answer is going to be a negative 2 thirds e to the negative 3x plus negative 1 half e to the negative 2x plus c. So we have a double substitution, u substitution. Oh. Crossing like that? Yeah, crossing like that. Mm 